Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris, and I'm the Batman Statue Collector. And today we're going to be talking about frames. We're going to be talking about framing. A lot of you know that I've been collecting original art, and a lot of you have said, Hey, Chris, can you kind of walk me through the steps on how you order the frames or the mats or whatever to make them look really good? And my policy is simplicity. And I definitely have to give a shout out to Dan Default, of course, from Wayne Manor Rocket City, uh, because he inspired me to do a lot of these things. And so I definitely want to give him credit. So I thank you again, Dan, for that. But let's talk about frames. So let's start with this. These are from Hobby Lobby, guys. This is where I get all of my frames. Now, you might have Michaels where you are, Hobby Lobby. Internationally, I'm not exactly sure what you guys can get, you know, if you have craft stores and things like that. But I get these and I get them every other week because every other week they have 50% off. So the price tag on this one, $17.99. I didn't pay $17.99. I wait every other week and get it 50% off. Now, the thing I like about these particular ones are they're really simple. They have kind of a beveled edge. Can you guys see that? Just a nice, simple, clean look. And I do 11 by 14 for most of my head portraits. I do the larger ones, 18 by 24 for some of the 11 by 17 ones. Um, and so it just really depends on the size. But I try to get uniform you know, pieces and I get them all from Hobby Lobby. That way they all look the same. Of course, they have different varieties as well. But I always get the ones that look just like that with that beveled edge right there. Okay. When it comes to mats, uh, at least for my headshot ones, my head sketches, I do a white uh, mat, black. I get this on Amazon. I'm going to put the links down below. It comes in like a pack of six, I think. And so, yeah, it's just a nice, simple, clean look. Black and white for all of my black and white art. Now, if you have uh, color art, you might want to do something different. Of course, you can get different mats depending on where you are. Again, Hobby Lobby has these same type of things. But again, I just feel like it gives a nice, clean look for black and white. Now, when it comes to the mats that I want to have customized, that's what I want to share with you today because I go to Art to Frames. Again, this was recommended by Dan Default. Absolutely fantastic. And I like that you can customize the mats. Um, you, can, you can buy just regular mats too from them, but you can do custom frames, custom mats. And that's exactly what I like to do, especially with my more intricate pieces, the ones that I really want to highlight um, with a black mat. But it's really cool because it has an inlay, okay? Or you at least have the option to do an inlay. So I'm going to show you here on the computer exactly what you can do to order one. All right, guys. So here we go. Art to Frames right here and arttoframes.com. This is a spring thing that they're doing right now. They have sales throughout the, the years on custom framing and things like that. Um, but let me kind of show you what I do. So you can go to frames here. And again, there's regular frames, frames with mats, uh, diploma frames, so just all kinds. You can even get samples if you want. Um, you can shop by standard sizes and things like that. Um, and it's just really easy. But what I like to do is I like to go <clears throat> right here to framing accessories. And I go to custom photo mats. Okay, custom photo mats. And that's going to bring up a screen right here um, where you can customize everything. Okay, so here you go. Image size, how to measure. Um, so this is going to be the actual image size of your art. Okay, and then the mat outer size is going to be the size of your frame. Okay, so if your frame is 18 by 24, okay, and you hit OK. And then let's say that your image size is 11 by 17. And you hit OK. All right, so that's going to customize. So we're up to $29.73 right now for that kind of mat. Again, it's a large size mat, very similar to what I have right here, as you can see. Let me kind of zoom back here. Uh, that is my custom mat right there that I'm talking about. Okay, so that is uh, what we have right there. And then you can also select from there, um, there's advanced options um, with your border size if you want to change the border size a little bit. Um, you can also go to a, a top mat and a second mat. I usually do a black, uh, which is right here, black, and then I do a black on black. Um, but as you can see, there are tons of colors um, you know, for you to select here. Um, so really, you can get about as custom as you want to get. Um, but anyway, I do a uh, a top mat, and then I do a second mat, which I also do black. Okay, so I do black on black. Uh, you can also do a third mat. Uh, again, the, the, the price continues to go up the more mats you add. 
but I usually just do a second mat and both of them are, are black on black is what I do, okay? Uh, again, you can select, there's also a black charcoal, black belt, <laughs> jet blacks, so there's different blacks even, uh, which is pretty interesting, okay? Then what I do is I really like, again, this is something Dan taught me. Um, so there are different uh, matte shapes, um, depending on like if you want a curved edge or you know beveled edge, that sort of thing, around. But what I like to do is actually go um, to V-Groove. So that's what I go to, V-Groove right here. And I like these with the little corners, as you can see. Um, I like to do this one right here. So it does add a little bit of money. Uh, let me go back to that matte shape. I, need, I realize I needed to turn that off for the matte shape. Okay, so again, going back to V-Groove and going right there to that. Okay, selecting that again, you, you can do you know that, this one. I mean, there's just all different ones you can just select. This is the one I like to do. And again, it gives you kind of a, a preview of what it's gonna look like, okay? And then as you go up here, you can see what that ends up looking like. So that's two mats right there, mat on mat. And uh, again, it gives you just a nice little little intricate beveled edge, right? Okay, so I realized that I, don't, I didn't do the triple one on this, I did the double one. So that's that double, that double look right there, okay? Uh, let me show you another example. We're out here in the hallway on my Two-Face that I have, my original uh, Javier Fernandez. I did the triple here. And on this one, uh, I did the double. So I probably should have done double on all of them. <laughs> I'm just realizing that I've got uh, double on a couple of them. But that's, uh, of course, my Ryan Benjamin piece here. Okay. And then on this one, I've got a triple. So anyway, it just adds maybe a little bit of variety. But at least it gives kind of a cohesive look. Um, but as you can see, it just that's matte on matte and has a really nice kind of finished look with these particular ones, I think. Got a couple other frames here. Uh, this again is the one with the, the black with the white matte that I showed you earlier when I first started. Okay. Um, and then here's another example. This is my David Finch. Again, I just have the singular edge there, but uh, it gives you kind of an idea with the black and white, kind of how it looks. So yeah, once you've selected what you like, um, it's gonna show you image size is 11 by 17, outer dimension uh, is 21 by 31. Um, so again, you might have to make sure you play around with it because sometimes whenever you change the mat, it might change it. Um, so I wanna make sure that it's 18 um, by 24, which is what my, my frame is. So I wanna make sure that's right. So always go back and double check because sometimes when you tweak stuff, when you play around with things, um, it might it might change some of the dimensions. So double check that um, Because I, I actually didn't one time when I got the wrong size mat So again, make sure your image size here image size is 11 by 17 or 8 by 10 or whatever and then the mat outer size is what your frame dimensions are, okay? Uh, don't measure the outside of the frame measure what it says it is on it So if it's if it says it's an 18 by 24 frame, that's what you want to put right there uh, and then uh, once you're done with that, you can add to cart. Again, so the price for this one, for something like this, again, for my big David Finch here, um, the price would have been $32.62, okay? And you can also get custom mats inside the frames. Um, again, you have to, you know, add to cart and then go back and, and do all of that. But um, if you just go to frames, again, if you wanted to go, and again, there's so many different options with frames, you know, there's the intricate ones. Again, I just like the, the simple black, but there's some really nice stuff there, too. Um, and it's got reviews and things like that. So, I don't know. Again, this is just what I've used. Again, I really recommend art to frames guys It's a great website, uh, easy to navigate, and a lot of options. So, there you guys have it. I hope, again, this little tutorial helps with how I frame art. Uh, again, it's really simple. I'm sure that there are better ways to do it than what I'm doing. But if you want a fairly inexpensive, you know, just a clean look in your collection, this is an easy way to do it. I don't feel like you feel like, I don't feel like you need massively um, intricate frames and things like that. Of course, the custom mats are going to cost more, but it does give a really final, clean look. I just really like it, kind of that museum look, which is what I'm going for in this in this collection. Now, again, these are not custom here. I could do custom mats on these size frames, but um, really, I want the artwork to be the uh, you know the centerpiece. And when I, I'm looking like I'm looking across the room and I see my nicer custom mats, it really just 
man, has a really nice pop to it. So anyway, I hope this helped. Again, the links are down below if you are interested in any of that. Hopefully it helps take you right to that site and you guys can play around with the site and uh, figure out exactly what kind of look you want. Maybe you want a custom red mat or a custom blue mat because you're collecting Batman or maybe you're collecting Hulk and you want green. That's the great thing is there's so many different options on Art to Frames. Just a really great website. I've ordered from them, I think, six or seven times now. And I really appreciate the work that they do, especially if you have artwork that you can't just go out and buy a regular frame for. You can customize the frame. Again, it can be pretty expensive depending on what you're getting. But at the end of the day, if you want it framed, if you want it up on the wall and it look nice, I recommend Art to Frames. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. Again, hopefully some of this helped. And if it did, let me know your thoughts. And if you have any other advice for any other any other collector that might be framing or you just have advice in general, please uh, comment. Um, that does help people find it. And uh, again, I just really appreciate your time. So anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Please like the video if you haven't done so. Uh, again, the number one thing you can do is share these videos with your friends and family that might be interested in this content as we are uh, on our road to 70K, which is really exciting. So thank you guys so very much. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the back cave.